Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Ziggin. So, if you're new to this channel, we'll summarize this real quick. So, for other channels, they might put video or put subtitles or put sound, but I've tried that in the past multiple times. I always get a strike and then have to wait 90 days to get rid of the strike. Um, I almost got terminated a few times in the past from trying that. So for the foreseeable future, we'll be doing this way. So if you don't like the way I do it, just go to a different channel. Don't dislike this video because that's why I see a lot of people will be like, I'll oh, just delete your channel. Oh, you're doing it this way, delete your channel and dislike the video and leave. Uh, this is how we've been doing for the last two years. Uh, so the way we do it is up in the corner here is a timer. Uh, I will put three seconds on the timer if the video is 15 minutes or longer, about 10, 15 minutes or longer. If the video is uh, less uh, minutes than that, I put two seconds on the timer. But basically, I will start my video at zero seconds. I will do a three second countdown. When my video hits, so like three, two, one. And then when my video hits three seconds, I hit continue. And about that's my timer will be linked up with the same amount of seconds as the video. So if you want to watch with me, just put the timer through, put your video to three seconds. When I get to zero, just hit play and you're good to go. You're watching the video about the same time I am. Uh, like I said, if you guys don't like this, go to a different channel. This will be at the start of every anime, television, a TV show or movie episode reaction and review. I do the full time, so if you want to watch it fully with me, that's how we do it. Also, uh, if you want, if you've seen this intro before, you can skip past it because down below here, it's going to be split up from intro to where we start the video. I usually give it about five, ten seconds before we start the video, and then after the video, I do the review. I usually section it off on that, or if we do four, if, uh, we do more than two episodes or three episodes, we'll be sectioned off with each episode reaction um and then at the end we do the review for all of them otherwise that's how we do it here like i said if you don't like it just go off go to a different channel but this is how we're probably going to do this for the foreseeable future otherwise thank you for sticking uh to the whole thing if you're new to this channel otherwise uh let's jump into it whatever this video might be and hopefully you guys do enjoy hello youtube this is mr crazy deacon so the last part of this, we finished the season one of Blood Blockade Battlefront. There is an OVA episode that happens between season one and season two. Um, it's very, very hard to find. Of like the five or six places I looked, only one place had it. It's only in sub. I think the next OVA at least has dubbed, I think, because it happened later on. I don't know entirely because i haven't fully started looking for that on by i have seen it on more platforms as far as i was reading this episode's called king of restaurants king of the restaurant of kings that is what the episode is titled this came out uh so like the original series first season of blood blockade battlefront came out in a uh, final episode episode 12 came out on october 4th 2015 this came out in july 3rd 2016 and then it was almost a year and a couple months before season two came out so uh this is almost like six seven months after the season ended and we got ova as far as i've been reading on this is um this ova uh, episode uh, was released on June 3rd, 2016 with the uh, Kekai Sensen guidebook or titled as Blood Blockade Battlefront Binge Bible. So the guidebook that came out in 2016, they released this OVA, OVA episode with it. It's, like I said, really hard to find this OVA episode, uh, but this is the one we're going to be covering. Um, once we cover this, I'll talk more about, re we'll review this, but I also want to talk more just about season one. This will be a quicker video, um, but yeah, so if you're wondering, it's hard to find. Only one source I have gone to had it, um, and it's only subbed, which I'm fine with that. 
Uh, so we will be watching this. Uh, let me put up the timer. This is like 25, 25 minutes long, I think. Uh, let's put three seconds on the clock. Okay. Let me start loading this. And we'll... 24, episode, uh, 24 minutes. Uh, this is going to take me a second with uh, this only being subbed. But still... Uh, Blood Blockade Battlefront Season 1 OVA <laughs> OVA 1 I don't know what you want to title this OVA 1 OVA Season 1 whatever um, I'll probably uh, call it OVA Episode 1 uh, because there's only two OVA episodes one for each season uh, but let's jump into this in 3 2 1 All sor sorrows are less with bread. World was combined with the. New cuisine. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is the restaurant episode, like I was saying. Attention, everyone. Okay. Freedom and power equated. Three million dollars annually. <laughs> Better not be rude. Yeah, that's you're asking a lot of them of Libra. For some reason, I just can't find where I have the page. I don't think it's farther than Slime Mage. Sounds like elevators. Very, very top class restaurant. Chain has like a book that is talking all about this restaurant. Oh, it is, it's way past the slime. That's why. Hmm. <laughs> I like uh, Leo was the only one to bow to him. Before that small party like this. So they are there to eat. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
Zap Zap and Leo are trying their best to just stay as Oh, that's why. Uh <laughs> St Stephen is like giving them the angry eye of do not mess this up. <laughs> Damn. Well, it makes sense if this is like a very, 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 very expensive restaurant, like they said. It makes sense why they have uh, cooks from both the human world and the other world. <laughs> they they're seeing the new dawn. <laughs> oh, that that might be my favorite. <laughs> Mac. Look. <laughs> look at this zapping. The food is beyond their wildest dreams. I like how <laughs> Steven was saying how they eat trash and fast food, so this has to be on a whole nother level for them. It makes sense because they saw like the new dawn from one bite. They're at least able to keep it in. I do like them all freaking out on the inside and keeping it just maintained. <laughs> I'll kill you if you lick your plate. <laughs> oh, yeah, Steven is. It, Leo and. Leo and Zed have gone crazy. These, these two fools. <laughs> I, I think, if anything, this OVA is absolutely showing that... <laughs> Steven is the boss. Steven is the absolute boss of this unit.
Yeah, they are an interesting team. No, your job is usually not well received. It also seems like the police try to arrest you as much as possible, too. I also like this restaurant is on a floating rock. Of course. Of course, the, they're planning to attack this place. They're going to come up with the most... They're going to be... <laughs> if they know who Libra is, they break into this restaurant <laughs> and see Libra, they might shit a brick. Thinking, oh, this is the worst time to attack. <laughs> Field medic. What? Field medic. Huh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Take him. Or they can just be shot down at the gate. Oh. 
Holy crap. S wow, Steven is like the one that's really trying to hold in. <laughs> Holy crap. They they all having flashbacks or some of them are Well, Steven did seem like he felt like he was in a f forest. Well, Zap and the Prince are getting along really well. <laughs> yeah, it's not too big of a leap for Zap to become friends with someone else by talking about women. Oh. Is that the person who's invading this place? Oh, it's the fucking king of despair or depravity, Femt. Why is Femt here? <laughs> that's that's incredible. The slow motion of Fempt showing off that uh Eric the tr location changed so quickly Fempt in slow motion stumbled around and then looked all cool in front of Leo when it went back to normal speed. <laughs> I think this is this happens sometimes during season one it seems because Femp doesn't really know Leo yet. Femp doesn't really know Leo yet in this. Uh. Or maybe they have. I have no idea with Femp. Femp is. Yes, it is very much in something dangerous right now.
<laughs> yeah, but right now Femt is like your ally. <laughs> Oh, they finally found a door. Where does this lead? Oh, uh, this is outside. Holy shit! Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. With a restaurant that that popular, Femme just loves the restaurant, so like a bad dream. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so the food uh, puts people in trances. That's what it does. That's... If anything, that episode was great. Fempt and Leo teaming up to save the restaurant. Because Femp loves the restaurant too much to really care. I don't know if you mean call it a team up. Leo was holding the water. Femp was holding the pill that created the creature. That episode, if anything, was just chaotic. From like start to finish. But uh, it's probably with the best weird faces I've seen off Leo and... Uh, Zap so far. Also, Zed having like a war flashback and just the crazy hectic hecticness of the episode was incredible. Like I said in the beginning, if you guys can find this episode, awesome. This was a great one. Even if it was in subbed, I'm I like dubbed so much for. Blood Blockade Battlefront. It was still a great episode. Great OV OVA. Otherwise. Oh, cool. So at the very end there, since Leo helped save the restaurant, he got a secret invitation back. Which, he would probably bring his sister there. That would be the case. Which makes sense that he would get more privilege to come back more because he helped save it with Femt. Um, 
I'm giving this a uh, nine out of ten. This was a really, really fun and like it's a wild episode, and I fucking love it. Because you have like Steven trying to hold together the team, but the team is like slowly losing it with how good the food is. Um, and then you have like the side care, like Fempt ending up there and them trying, uh, people trying to get in there and like kidnap the prince. And Fempt is just loves the restaurant so much, he'd rather protect it than to uh, let it get destroyed at that point. Like, really great episode. Really fun, 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 fun episode. Um, I'll take this down. Uh, yeah, I think 9 out of 10. Really, really, really fun episode. Um, I can't wait to start Season 2, but I wanted to cover this before getting to Season 1. Um, and we'll probably do the same thing with Season 2. When we finish Season 2, we'll pick up the OVA by itself and talk about Season 2. Um... I want to find the exact faces of them. Mac, here, watch when they take the bites and watch their faces. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> fucking. I, I if later on I need to show you like. Get you to play this episode because I think you would enjoy it. All I can think of it, it's like the, the neurons <laughs> activating me. Uh, Sonic is in this episode by like either he's the angel like blowing the horn or when Steven is like trance with the food and thinking it's a jungle, you have a uh, fucking Sonic keep popping up as a monkey. Yeah, this this is a great episode. Um, the, well, most of the main cast, you have what? Leo, Zed Zap, Steven, Klaus, KK, Chains. Here. Which means this is at least somewhere around episode 10 to 12. Somewhere's in there. Because you you would have to have met Zed already. And I think Zed was like episode 9. Because I think you you sh have a appearance of him in episode 8. Like they hint towards him. But they don't really show him until episode 9. Um, which is definitely this is somewhere in there. This is not... This is not, like, episode 12, like, after episode 12, because Femp doesn't really know Leo. Let's Femp just forgotten Leo's face. They they did make that reference of Femp not really recognizing him, but also Leo not really, like, just, like, surprised that, that that's the, uh, the Lord, uh, depravity. That's, uh, that's who he ran into. So it's more like... They don't know each other fully yet. In episode 12, 11 and 12 of season 1, they really get like a connection between the two of them because he's there's more talk in between them. So it doesn't seem like it's past season 1. It's somewhere at the end of season 1 this takes place. Um, and it's really fun. This is a really fun episode. If anything, we're going to quickly jump into review in season 1. Um... Uh, I don't know how long this will be. Uh, we're at, what, 32 minutes right now? This is probably going to be 5, 10 minutes long. Maybe a little more. Um, but season 1 in its entirety, I love the show. I can't wait to pick up season 2. I was going to pick up season 2, and then I forgot we're going to do this. We're we're going to do this. I promise we'll do it this way. Um, season 1, loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Um... My favorite fight is probably the very last episode, but I also love the very first fight where it's him getting the take off Sonic. Like, I really love that whole scene. Um, my favorite character, I think, is uh, 
it's either Klaus or fucking, um, no, it's Doghammer. Doghammer and De Deldro is probably my favorite character in it. Second would be Klaus, and third would be probably Leo or Zap. But I think Doghammer is my favorite character so far. Maybe we'll meet more. It teased something at the end of Season 1. Who knows? Also, uh, I think I said it in Season 1 when we finish. Uh, they've been continuing. Like, every month they release a, a volume of this. And it's very long chapters or once a I don't know why it is it's once a year or let me actually look real quick when I because I think I have the wiki up. Um uh if I go to the manga go to chapters uh back to back which came out in two thousand sixteen so during the time of this has twenty seven chapters and then but it was coming out once a year. Uh, sometimes twice a year, depending on the year. But it was coming out with like three chapters. But they were saying, as far as I was reading in communities and stuff, that the chapters are even longer than what they were. They're more exposition and that. Like, he's taking his time more and more with these chapters. Uh, and then... Uh, Blood Blockade Battlefront Back 3 Pete uh, Beat 3 Pete uh, is the newest thing that just came out is coming out in July it'll be the newest volume it's the newest thing and I'm curious with it because it continues it so there is a possibility for like a third fourth or maybe more uh, of this coming out but we have to wait because they do My Hero in that with Studio Bones they do a lot so if we do get a Blade Black K Battlefront Season 3. It's going to take a while. That's also why I'm taking my time with this. Um, I do want to talk more, but I really need to go back from so I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, like I said, I really need to go back from. Um, so. Uh, yeah, so it's very possible we get a third season, fourth season. And there's, they haven't said a continuation or cancellation of this, so it's very possible. But like I said, I think Studio Bones have been working on a lot of stuff. So if we do get a season three or more, it'll probably take a while. Um, if I look at Studio Bones, like the latest stuff they have done is like Bungo, Stray Dogs, Mob Psycho, My Hero... Um, Skate uh, Infinity Skate the Infinity There's other stuff in here That I looked at Um, But yeah um, It's possible they come They do another season of this It all depends on also the creator Of the series if they want another season of this uh, Cowboy Bebop uh, Full Metal Alchemist They did movies and stuff um, so yeah, uh, tsh, tsh. so they're, they do a lot. So, um, hopefully we'll see more from them. Hopefully I'm really hoping, um, but we'll see. Uh, I would really hope for a season three, uh, but it's like, it's going to be on the list of shows I want to see another sh season of like Nambaka or Nisekoi or there's a few others, um, uh, Magi. Uh, there's a lot of shows that I finish and I would love to see more of. And it's just, it, if they do do more of it, it's going to take a while or it's going to be a couple more years, but otherwise season one, I loved Dearly. I think probably season one I rank a 9 out of 10. In its entirety. Um, there were some slower episodes. But a majority of them were phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to start season two. Like I said. But that will still be a while I was away. I think we've probably done five, six minutes talking. But there's a lot of me talking about future seasons. Um, 
because I do review these as much as possible or talk pre uh, a lot if possible. Yeah, so when this video comes out, just for reference before we fully just talk about, the, uh, do the outro, is when this video comes out, give me a week or two, maybe a little more, and we'll start season two, and we'll finish season two, and then do the OVA. Um, I am picking up a lot of shows like uh, That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. I'm finished off Ancient Magus Bride Season 1. I'm now picking up the OVAs. Um, I'm finished. I'm probably going to jump in and do more Mob Psycho, Cowboy Bebop. I'm picking up Blue Exorcist, which I'm technically recording after this, after I do a, a drink review, because that's been recommended. We're picking up more movies. We're doing more guides. I'm trying to do a lot more, and I'm also trying to get out. I have like 400 to 500 hours of content that still needs to be used, and I want this channel to have it. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of videos on the channel. I'm really sorry if you're not a fan of that, but I want it on the channel and I'm going to upload it. So hopefully, hopefully this gets uploaded before the end of June. That's my hope. And then it'll give you guys time to see it. Uh, but like I said, probably two, three weeks give me time and we'll pick up season two and finish season two and then do o OVA. Um... I, I have high hopes. I'm really hoping to see a lot from it, but I'm picking up Blue Exorcist next, and that's taking priority. There's also shows like Demon Slayer and Cheat Skill that is continuing. Otherwise, really, hope you guys did enjoy. I should do this for the outro. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, give a like. If you guys haven't, subscribe to the channel. I recommend subscribing to the channel to keep up with all the content. Otherwise, this has been Miss Curie Ziegen signing off. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night. Uh, wherever you are, just have a good day. Hopefully I see you guys next video and peace. These are the current members supporting my channel and thank you guys so much for supporting it. If you want to join, it's down below. Otherwise, thank you so much.